cabin pressure at uh, 147. 70% thrust, which is now. This is the Deep Flight Super Falcon, an underwater submersible that can go as deep as 1,200 feet. Still going down. But what makes it really special are wide, nearly nine foot wings that help it fly beneath the surface. The master um, behind it is marine like engineer you. Graham Hawks. And, uh, He's been building underwater vehicles for decades, like the Mantis, which he actually piloted in the James Bond film for your eyes only. Now his team builds personal subs for private clients with deep pockets. How much does one of these cost? Well, they're hand built, so they're very expensive today. It's 1.7 million. With a price tag like that, plus the full year it takes to build one, it's not a surprise that there are only three currently flying the high seas. Tom Perkins was the first one to walk in a workshop on one, one. Uh, Sir Richard Branson. Um, Steve Fawcett had one, and now uh, Dietrich, Red Bull. What about Elon Musk? Well, look, those guys that are going in space, they're 180 degrees off course. Everything we need for our future, food, space, minerals, is in the ocean. Hawk says what makes his design so special is the way it can fly around to move with the sea life. With Richard Branson in the back, I was supposed to be training him to fly. We were down off Guadalupe, and right off that wing was a shark as big as we were. A big, great white shark. Awesome. All right, let's try this. I feel like I'm in a sci-fi movie. For now, the deep flight submersibles are still a toy for the ultra wealthy. But as the technology advances, Hawks and his team hope they'll become a go-to for ocean tourism or even commercial transportation. We live on an aquatic planet and we don't have access to it. And now we're flying in that space. It's pretty cool.